Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ishinga. Yeah, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Um, pleasure to be part of, of the panel and share share some reflection with you on the on the matter of, of global health security. Um, I'm heading Pfizer in Germany. Pfizer, as as you might know, is a one of the world's premier pharmaceutical companies, and basically and essentially, health is um, what we are all about. Um, we do research and develop innovative medicines, um, um, vaccines. Um, and also well-established products. Well, um, reflecting on the, on the matter of today, um, what comes on my mind is a quote from former EU Commissioner David Byrne, who, who once observed that health equals wealth. That was a famous quote, you, you remember? And with those three words, um, I think he said everything which is to about, about to say of the impact of, of health on economy. And probably this goes both ways, um, also the other, the other way around. Now, with the topic today, I would say... Both of them won't work without security. Health needs nurturing. It doesn't, it doesn't um, grow in a vacuum. And security is something like, like its soil um, um, where health can develop. And health suffers clearly in places uh, where we lack security. And the opposite is also true. Um, uh, where we have deficiencies in health and health care, um, uh, that has an impact, of course, on, on security. So both um, system and economy need need uh, to be stable for a sustainable healthcare infrastructure uh, to develop and give people a chance to prosper. And this is true individually and, and also true as a society. So from a, a global pharmaceutical perspective, um, what's the part we can play? I think first things uh, to say is uh, we can bring in some skills. I mean, clearly uh, the ones in terms of the ability to research, develop drugs and medicines, but it goes beyond. Um, we have knowledge about healthcare systems, um, how um, we can improve access to medicines, um, bring therapies to patients. So um, there's a couple of those capabilities we've developed uh, in, in, uh, in many countries of the world and can, can bring it to the table also in, in, in this regard. I would say up front, um, above all of this, very clearly collaboration is, is the key. Um, we team up with partners. Um, to work on those solutions um, on healthcare, sustainable healthcare infrastructures, but it can only work together when we when we bring it all together and integrate ourselves um, uh, in those in those initiatives. And maybe just give you a couple of examples how that has worked in the past and how we how we um, have contributed and can do so uh, in in this regard. One matter already been mentioned, you know, big um, with big impact is is uh, multi-resistant pathogens. Um, uh, and antimicrobial resistance, which you know, has a huge impact on health uh, and, and also um, uh, in regard of costs in many countries of the world, has got growing attention. And I think what you hear is a consensus that everyone agrees this needs a, a multi-layered approach. I mean, from our side, um, as, as a leading company in this field, we've taken a couple of extensive activities. One, in developing, of course, uh, new antibiotics, but also one aspect which I think plays an important role, uh, is that we've built a comprehensive surveillance program um, providing physician and healthcare uh, providers with 13 years of accumulated data on bacterial resistance. And this information is posted on the website. I think that's one example of how we can contribute beyond and, and also work together. Uh, and of course, also we have signed uh, the declarations being made uh, uh, at Davos uh, and the pharmaceutical action plan on this uh, to further advance in this important matter. Uh, second aspect is vaccination. Um, I mean, in a, simple, in a simple sense, vaccination saves life very clearly so. And maybe only drinking, uh, clean drinking water has probably uh, prevented more deaths than vaccinations. Um, to be proven and challenged, but I guess that's a good, that's a good uh, assumption. Um, I think here in, in this regard, to me, uh, what the Gavi Foundation has set up, you know, bringing all the stakeholders together, um, leads by example. We are part of it, uh, work with Gavi in this initiative, uh, and provide pneumococcal conjugate uh, vaccine to the world's poorest countries. There's an extensive plan on that, uh, reduced price, but also other activities. And it's a long-term commitment. It's not just one for a year or two. It's a long-term commitment, uh, with which we've set up. A lot of, of discussion and talk, rightly so, is about infectious diseases, but as, as you addressed uh, in your note, it, it goes beyond. The matter goes beyond. We have other, other diseases, the non-communicable diseases, which also have a big impact on health and stability in, in, 
uh, developing countries, this is cardiovascular, diabetes, cancer, major causes of death, uh, also growing, growing numbers, um, and, and that needs a, a concerted and joint effort as well. Um, we, Pfizer, we are part of uh, Access Accelerated, one global initiative of 22 companies, including World Bank, uh, NGO Union for International Cancer Control. And this aims to help people in low- and middle-income countries to obtain treatment and care uh, for non-communicable uh, diseases. One aspect, I think, which is important in this regard, and we had a good lunch discussion already today, and, and what sparked my thought was mentioning that beyond the important initiatives we take on a global uh, level and a strategic level, at the end, we need to land in where people need the health, very practical solutions in the countries we work in. And then, you know, you made the point, and then start to work from there. And in this regard, without, without naming everything, but we work um, uh, in the context of cancer in Africa very closely uh, with communities um, on, on, on topics like access to medicines, uh, knowledge about, about diagnostics, and, and so on. So um, this is very practical and hands-on support. But again, as I said, uh, it's a collaboration. It's not just us. By the way, I think a, an, an aspect which is interesting in that regard is that we also took an effort uh, to set up initiatives to set up local research centers in Africa uh, and also promote clinical research there. So creating infrastructures to help those countries to overcome the issues over time is, is an important matter. So towering challenges, um, we, are, we are very well. We are only a part of the puzzle. Um, so joining up, joining up all efforts and, and uh, resources is the, the key thing. Uh, we are willing to be part of it, willing to contribute, and looking forward to further discussions. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>